get right into this tutorial covering slow motion with Final Cut Studio and DSLRs. On the right we have our original footage, and on the left is our end result. Now before we can get into it, I need to mention a few settings that you'll need for your DSLR, or your other HD camera that supports multiple frame rates. First you want to set your frame rate to either 50p for PAL territories, or 60p for NTSC territories. Secondly, shoot with fast shutter speed. 1 250th or above should ensure clean frames with no motion blur. The combination of a fast frame rate and shutter speed will darken the shot, so either use extra lighting, a low f-stop, or a combination of the both to ensure a neutral exposure. Let's stop our videos and look at our source clip. Make sure you've trimmed the clip in Final Cut Pro or QuickTime to just the amount you want slowed. Also note that I've got 16GB left of hard drive space. Remember that. Now open motion and create a project that suits your clip. So ensure that the project is either 50 or 60 frames a second. We're going to drop our footage into our project, then center it, and click Inspector. From here we can click on the Properties tab and open the Timing section, where we will slow our clip down to 60% or whatever value suits. As we are working with 50 frames per second, when we convert it back into 25 frames a second, it will slow down by a factor of 50% again on top of this value, so do remember that. Now here is why we are using Motion and not Final Cut Pro for our slowdown. In this drop down menu we can select Optical Flow. Final Cut Pro does not have this option. Optical Flow uses an advanced algorithm only recently introduced to prosumer software that tracks per pixel motion to create a convincing generated frames. Long story short, in most cases it's going to look a lot better than these other options. Calculating Optical Flow requires time. Click on the spinning wheel to see just how much time it's going to require. In this time you might want to go off and get a damp cloth. Once Optical Flow has been calculated, ensure that Motion Blur is off. Then export. I'm going to be using the ProRes codec. Find your footage and then apply that cool cloth that you got before to your forehead. This is to prevent fainting as you look at your leftover hard drive space. My source clip was only 4 seconds long and the Optical Flow chewed up 1.5GB of space. This is why it's important to trim and export just the shot that you require. Using the Send to Motion command from Final Cut Pro will cause Optical Flow to analyze the entire clip, not just the bit that you want slowed down. Right, the final step is to convert back into 25 frames a second. An easy way to do this is just drop our footage into Cinema Tools, select the frame rate, and hit Conform. And bam, we're done. We've got great looking slow motion. Don't forget to check out realclever.com for more tutorials and tips.